Barakatay Yahweh, Barakatay Yahweh Shai, Kol Halal Yamla Yahweh, Bahasham Yahweh Shai, Barachah Kodash, which means all praises to Yahweh is the name of the Heavenly Father. Bahasham means in the name. Yahweh Shai is the name of His only begotten Son, who the world ignorantly called Jesus Christ. Barachah Kodash means in the Holy Spirit, the Spirit of Truth. Only way we can worship the Father and the Son. Double honors to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone. Peace, blessings, and salutations to all you brothers preaching the gospel and truth and the sincerity always in charity. It's the brother Mathathia from the Great Millstone Camp to branch out Des Moines. You can see on your screen is a video um, done by the Elder Yashawamba. You can see it's entitled, There is So Much More to See. It was uploaded to his uh, Remnant Save 144 page. You know, and um, it's a beautiful lesson, man. It was pretty much based on an article. New Zealand. Right, that you can see right here. It's based on an article that says, uh, Sharks that glow in the dark. Scientists discover luminous deep sea predators off New Zealand. And like the elder title, like there is so much more to see, man. And that's true. You know, I have not seen or have not heard what the Lord got prepared for those that wait for him, man. So without further ado, we're just going to get right into it. You know, I got a couple of scriptures written down and it's not in no specific order. So Lord willing, it all ties in through the spirit and it makes sense. Let's start here in the book of Sirach, the 18th chapter. And we're going to start at the top. This is the book of Sirach 18 and 1. It says, he that liveth forever hath created all things in general. And that's the most high. You know, as uh, one of his titles in the book of Daniel, the seven chapters, it's entitled the Ancient of Days. You know? So the Lord always was, man. Wrap your mind around that, right? Verse 2. The Lord only is righteous and there is none other but he who governeth the world with the palm of his hand and all things obey his will. For he is the king of all by his power, dividing holy things among them from from profane. So we're showing you that our Lord is all powerful, omnipotent, man, omnipotent, however you want to pronounce it, that he's in control of everything and nothing rebels against his will. Everything is going according to his purpose and plan that 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 uh, uh he thought of since the beginning, like as it is written in second edge of the sixth chapter. But let's keep reading verse four. To whom hath he given power to declare his works? And who shall find out his noble acts? Who shall number the strength of his majesty? And who shall also tell out his mercies? As for the wondrous works of the Lord, there may nothing be taken from them. Neither may anything be put unto them. Neither can the ground of them be found out. You see that? So the works of our heavenly father are innumerable, man. You see? And this devil Esau Edom, he has bounds that he cannot pass, man. So the Lord ain't allowing this devil to uh, uh, go too far deep into the ocean or to search out even all the earth, right? As it is written in Sirach, let's just get this real quick. This is the book of Sirach, chapter one and verse three. It says, who can find out the height of heaven and the breadth of the earth and the deep and wisdom? You see? So the circumference of the earth, man, <laughs> this devil don't know that, man. This place is too big. How deep the ocean goes, he don't know that. How far the heavens go, he doesn't know that, man. Right? Let's go back to Sirach 18. Showing you what verse 6 says. Let's read 6 again. Uh, Sirach 18 and 6. As for the wondrous works of the Lord, there may nothing be taken from them, neither may anything be put unto them, neither can the ground of them be found out. You see? When a man hath done, then he beginneth. Yeah, exactly. Esau think he's he found uh, all the species on the earth. So when he leave off searching, guess what? He keep finding more, man. He just beginning, you see? And when he leaveth off, then he shall be doubtful. Yeah, man, because he constantly finding new things, man. You know, not only animals, but also uh, 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 plants, different species of plants and different fruits. Let's go to 2nd Edris chapter 6 and verse 44. Um, let's start at 42. It says upon the third day, right? Going back to Genesis, the third, the third thousand year of creation, right? Upon the third day, thou didst command that the water should be gathered in the seven part of the earth. Six parts has thou dried up and kept them to the intent that of thee, some being planted of the most high and tilled might serve thee. For as soon as thy word went forth, the work was made for immediately there was great and innumerable fruit. <laughs> you see? In many and diverse pleasures for the taste and flowers of unchangeable color and odors of wonderful smell. And this was done the third day. So there's still species of plants and fruits and, and different herbs, right? 
that's still out there, man, that this devil haven't came across. <laughs> right? And we're going to enjoy all this in the kingdom of heaven. Yahweh, Bahasham, Yahweh, Shah, Ratzazah, man. We endure until the end. Right? So from there, uh, was I done with that Sirach? Let's go back to the Sirach 18. Sirach 18, and let's read 7 again. When a man have done, then he beginneth. And when he leaveth off, then he shall be doubtful. Yeah, man. Because once again, you can't find out the ground of the Lord's works. You know? From there, let's get the book of Sirach 42 and uh, verse 22. It says, O oh, how desirable are all his works, and that a man may see even to a spark. So that's all we see, man. <laughs> Everything we see, man, and that's and that's and that says a lot right there. Everything we see, right, that's in creation is only a spark of what the Lord uh, uh, created, man. We can see the mountains and the oceans and the animals that are discovered in a different species, man. We see all that, and that's only a spark, man. Greatness is awaiting us, man. Greatness is awaiting us. Let's jump over to the forty third chapter now. The elder read this in his lesson. But let's go back and, uh, and and go go back through it again. This is the book of um, Sirach 43 and 23. By his counsel, he appeased the deep and planted islands therein. <laughs> man, you know, they man, the might of Yahweh Basham Yahweh Shah. And that's why this devil uh, uh, tries to uh, uh, play the most high, man. This devil really tries to play the most high. That's why he got man-made islands, right? That's why he's advancing his technology the way he is, because through through his technology is how he's trying to play the mo, uh, play, uh, play the most high. This is how he's trying to be God, man. It's through his technology, but it's going to fail. He's trying to be immortal through his technology. He's trying to be all seeing through his technology. <laughs> right. He wants to be all knowing through his technology, man. He want to know your thoughts, your personality, all through technology. No, man. All that's going to fail. Anyway, verse 24. They that sail on the sea tell of the danger thereof. And when we hear it with our ears, we marvel thereat. Yeah. You know, see, the scripture speaks about, you know, um, guys that sail on the sea. Let's get this in the book of um, Psalms 104. And let's scroll down to 24. It says, O Yahweh Basham Yahweh Shai, how manifold are thy works. In wisdom has thou made them all. The earth is full of thy riches. So is this great and wide sea, wherein are things creeping innumerable, both small and great beasts, man. Yeah. Uh, 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 um, some of them uh, uh, um, glows, right? <laughs> you got the octopus that can that can um, uh, uh, blend in with their background like a chameleon, you know. Great and wondrous works, man. Verse 26. There go the ships. There is that Leviathan whom thou has made to play therein. You see? So it says there goes those ships, man. Right? And these people that make a living uh, 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 sailing um, the oceans, man, hey, they, be, they be seeing all kind of things, man. They be seeing all kind of things. Let's get this in. Um, uh, I believe it's Psalms 107. Let's get Psalms 107. Let's start at 23. It says, yep, it says, they that go down to the sea in ships that do business in great waters, these see the works of Yahweh Basham Yahweh Shai and his wonders in the deep. <laughs> For he commandeth and raiseth the stormy wind, which lifteth up the ways thereof. They mount up to the heaven. They go down again to the depths. Their soul is melted because of trouble, man, meaning scared. You know, but showing you, man. That the works of the Lord is, is, is mighty and innumerable. You see? Let's go back to that Sirach. Sirach 43 and 25 now. It says, For therein be strange and wondrous works, variety of all kinds of beasts and whales created. Right? And, 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 and in the book of Genesis, when you go into that word whales, it goes into sea monsters, man. So lining up with what we just read in Psalms. It says by him the end of them hath prosperous success and by his word all things consist yeah when you read uh, psalms 104 in its totality it shows the might and majesty of the lord man 
you know how he sends forth the rain and it runs down the mountains and 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 it and it waters the the field and it waters the and quenches the thirst of the animals and it causes the the uh, the herbs and and the different fruits and things to grow for uh, uh for for our sake how he feeds the the lions and the ravens and the eagles man hey the lord is man phew, ineffable man it says verse 27 we may speak much and yet come short wherefore in some he is all he is man right that's what it name well, that's what his name means how shall we be able to magnify him for he is great above all his works the Lord is terrible and very great and marvelous in his power. When ye glorify the Lord, exalt him as much as ye can, for even yet will he far exceed. And when ye exalt him, put forth all your strength and be not weary, for ye can never go far enough. Who have seen him that he might tell us and who can magnify him as he is? There are yet hid greater things than these be. That's what we read, right? Only to a spark. We only seen a spark of the Lord's creation, man. Right? There are yet he had greater things than these be for we have seen but a few of his works for the lord hath made all things into the godly hath he given wisdom man you know wonderful man so from there let's get the rest of these little precepts that i uh i got written down this is the book of uh psalms 145 and 1 it says david psalm of praise i will extol thee my power o king and i will bless thy name forever and ever Every day will I bless thee, and I will praise thy name forever and ever. Great is Yahweh Basham Yahweh Shai, and greatly to be praised. And his greatness is unsearchable, man. <laughs> man, we serve a mighty power, man. Man, we serve a mighty power. One generation shall praise thy works to another, and shall declare thy mighty acts. I will speak of the glorious honor of thy majesty and of thy wondrous works and men shall speak of the might of thy terrible acts and I will declare thy greatness, man. So from there, let's go to the 86th chapter. And the eighth verse. I'll start at six. It says, give ear, O Yahweh, Basham Yahweh, Shah, unto my prayer and attend to the voice of my supplications. In the day of my trouble, I will call upon thee, for thou wilt answer me. Among the powers, among the gods, there is none like unto thee, O Lord. Neither are there any works like unto thy works, man. Come on now. You know, so Esau can try to emulate it with his with his artificial womb and, and his uh, AI, artificial uh, intelligence and all that. Uh, all that shit is faulty, man. It's complete madness. You see, and it's all going to fail once again. Let's go to the 92nd chapter and the fifth verse. Uh, let's start at four. It says, For thou, O Yahweh Basham Yahweh Shah, has made me glad through thy work. I will triumph in the works of thy hands. O Lord, how great are thy works, and thy thoughts are very deep. When you go into that word thoughts, it's the Hebrew word machashaba. Machashaba. And it says thought, device, thought, plan, purpose, inventions. <laughs> you see? So, man, hey, man, we, once again, man, we serve a great power, man. You know? It, 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 it's literally mind-blowing to can actually consider these things, man. You know, to meditate on these things and the works of the Lord, man. You know? Uh, the different... Uh, 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 planets that's created the different things that's out there among the stars man look we got greatness prepared for us so that's all i had through the spirit man i just wanted to land back uh off the elder yashawamba because you know it wooed it wooed my spirit man and i hope that it it, it does the same to the listeners so lord willing i hope this was edifying to wadi yahawah bahasham yahweh shah for giving me spirit to do this lesson i'm gonna give all praises honor, and glory to yahawah bahasham yahweh shai barachah kwadash double honors to the apostles and elders of great millstone peace blessings and salutations to all you brothers preaching the gospel and truth and the sincerity always in charity man we serve a wonderful great power man <laughs> you know uh omnipotent omnipotent once again however you want to pronounce it that's who we serve so amen Shouldn't be a doubt in our mind. Shalom.